Hey guys, Wax with Iron Man 4x4, and today we are introducing our new line of roof rack systems, Atlas. This is the mounts and the crossbars that will suit your Toyota RAV4 5th gen. Okay, let's see what came in this box. All right, this is the unboxing part of the video. So we've got two crossbars with the mounts already attached. So we'll lay those out there. You've got a box with the hardware pack. Put that there. Tools and instructions. These are the other mounting feet. And then we'll pop this other one out here. All right, we'll set that there. Box off to the side. Flip over your crossbar. Grab your set of keys. Each corner of these mounts is gonna have a barrel lock that you're gonna need to stick the key in, turn to the left, and pull the key back out. It'll pull that whole piece right off. Okay, that side's out too. Now, you're gonna take this hex keyed Allen screwdriver right here, and we are going to loosen this screw right there. So you wanna rock it back four or five full turns. This bolt, this pan head hex bolt is on a spring and you can actually push that in. When you push it in, it releases the spring loaded gripper in there and lets us slide these mounts in and out. So that's why we're loosening that. And again, you don't wanna take it all the way out. You just wanna crank it back four or five turns. Push that hex in and pull the mounts out. Then you can take your Allen key driver and you're gonna pry up the rubber piece right here that's in this tracking. There's actually a secret little thing here on these rubber uh, inserts in the adjustment tracking. If you flip them upside down, it's a tape measure. You've got standard inches on the top, see all those little hash marks, and millimeters on the bottom side. Kinda cool. So if you spent all your money on buying one of these Atlas roof rack systems for your RAV and you couldn't afford a tape measure, well, we threw a couple in for you. Okay, so you wanna make sure that you designate the front cross rail from the back cross rail because the mounts and where they're set up are different on the vehicle. Take a measurement from this point to the mount and on the front, you're gonna be around five and a half inches. Five and a half inches here, five and a half inches there. That's gonna be really, really close and make it easier for you if you're doing this setup by yourself. The back rail, if you wanna equidistant, you're looking at right around four inches on each side. Now we wanna grab these little foot pads and you've got four of them, two for the front, two for the back. They have some printing here on them that says RH and LH. What we'll do is we'll flip this upside down. This is our front crossbar and mount. I'm gonna take a right and I'm gonna squeeze this guy over the base of the mount. And you wanna squeeze and push down and it will kind of fold over and fit up in the mount. I'll take a left one. Same thing on this side. And again, you want to get some good pressure and kind of walk it down, almost like putting a, like a decal on or a sticker. You kind of want to roll it out, make sure it's nice and flush and that it's well seated into the mount because these things move back and forth. So press it down like that. Okay, so I'll set the front one up here. We'll get our rear cross rail and mounts. I'll take these rubber feet. And then I always like to leave everything laid out in the same orientation that's going on the car. So front rail, right, left, rear rail, right, left. So now we know where everything's at and sitting. Now you're gonna grab this little flat head with that hex opening at the back of the wrench and we'll pop the OEM plates off of those flush rails. When you get up here on your flush rails, you'll notice that you have four of these plates. Take your little tool or a flathead screwdriver. It's just nice that it came included in the kit. And there's a little gap right here, a little slotted opening. We'll pop that wrench down in there and then gently we'll just pry it and then work down. And that unclips just like that. I'm gonna lay it right here. I'm gonna move to all four corners. I already did one, so I guess three corners and get those popped out too. So now we're gonna grab these M8 by 80 millimeter long threaded studs. Uh, it's part number seven on the front page of your instructions if you're not sure what they are, but they basically have this three millimeter hex on the top and you're gonna grab your uh, ball in hex driver. See, like that. We're gonna take all four of them and now that we've got those 
plates removed from our flush rails on the RAV, we're gonna throw these guys down. All right, so we'll take that M8 threaded stud, we're gonna drop it right down there into the threaded cert of the car. If you're cautious, blue Loctite. If you're going three quarter to wide open, full send, put some red on there. All right, now we gotta drop these spacers on top of those threaded studs. There's two sizes, so be careful. You wanna know how you can tell the two sizes? One is tall and one is small. So if you don't know the metric conversion to standard, because this one's 18 and that one's 20, 20 would be two more or taller. All right, I've got the smaller 18 mil. That's gonna go on the front. We'll put the 20 on the back. Same thing on the other side. All right, now we gotta put these little filler plates on that Iron Man provided with the Atlas rack. The part number that ends with 189 and that's short, those are the front, and the 193s, they're long, they go in the back, so we'll throw them up top. I'm gonna take one of these shorty 189s, and if you have a hard time getting it in there, just kinda rainbow it over in the front and press it down in the back, and that just sits like that. Easy. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. All right, so I grabbed the front rail, and if you're putting these on by yourself, I like to drop the mount that is farthest away from me onto that stud over there, because if I need to adjust this mount, I'm here, I can get at it, push on that threaded screw that's spring-loaded, I can adjust it in the tracking, drop it down over that stud there. Awesome. Now you want to grab four of these M8 knob lobes. That's what the instructions call them. I call these things wing nuts. Grab four of your knob lobes, spin them on, and then we'll just tighten that down like that. Once you're happy with where your crossbars are lined up, don't forget to tighten this down. If you leave it loose and you've got a load on these things and it shifts, your crossbars are gonna come sliding off your car. So it's important to lock this guy back down. And don't forget to do that on all four corners. All right, so with our crossbars all locked down on the car, the last thing we need to do is put our access plates back on. You're gonna have four of these. I'll show you a little trick though, that's kind of cool. So if you flip these upside down, you can actually keep an Allen wrench on this side and it clips right in to the housing. And this little guy here clips in over here. Now we'll grab our keys for our barrel locks and we'll get these all put back on the car. Take your keys, put your key in, and make sure that that barrel lock is positioned up and down. Then you can put that plate cover on like that, turn your key to the right, lock it, pull the key out, and that'll stay on. Awesome, we're done. This thing's on here, it's locked down. Don't forget your keys, keep that in a safe place. Now all you need to do is get some skis or snowboards or mountain bikes or kayaks or I don't know, whatever you wanna do, maybe throw some groceries on there. Get out and use this thing, it's awesome. If you wanna pick one up or you have questions about other gear that can go with your RAV, go check it out at Ironman4x4America.com. We will help you over there.